Hey everyone, welcome to the third and final Pierce Wanted match that I recorded uh, from my time at E3. Uh, before we get started, I just want to say that I know this is probably about a month later than I originally wanted to upload this. Um, it's kind of just a mix of kind of like personal life stuff, work and everything. Um, I've been traveling a lot, uh, I just bought a car, I'm moving to a, in a house like in a couple weeks, and so everything's just been a little crazy. And on some level, um, it's also just, I, I'd already done eight videos for E3 and then like some videos for like the 10,000 subscribers and I just felt a little burnt out so I just need a little bit of time away from it so um, I'm sorry that this didn't come out sooner. Um, those of you that have been subscribed to me for a long time know that my uploads can be kind of both erratic and sporadic and so for that I'm, I'm very sorry that I don't keep a more up regular upload schedule and it must be kind of frustrating but just know that for, um, for those of you who do still support me despite all that, I really appreciate it. Um, anyway, so this is the third Pierce Wanted match like I mentioned before, um, the last one. Uh, this guy somehow manages to disconnect even though we were just playing locally um, at the Uplay Lounge. So I don't even know. I think they might have had to um, restart that, uh, that particular machine or something. Um, so that leads off to a pretty bad start here. There are a couple things here. Um, that in this match I wanted to point out uh, that I didn't get to point out in the other uh, matches before. Um, the first is that as you walk around you might notice actually that um, you can blend with single people. You might have seen it right there with the cutthroat. Um, and at first I thought it might have been just kind of like a, a thing where in the previous games uh, sometimes you'd have a moving blend group and the uh, one of them could kind of get knocked out of it and it would stretch the blend group and so I thought maybe it was like that for a while but if you look through this video and through a bunch of the other videos it's any it seems pretty intentional that anytime you're next to like a single person you can blend just by standing right next to them so it's a lot easier to get um, hidden kills um, in AC4 than it was in AC3 and so that was a really interesting change I wonder how if <laughs> I mean, I've always kind of wanted more blend groups. Um, I kind of wanted bigger crowds and stuff, but uh, not. Uh, I think I'll take some time to figure out if this is, um, if it's going to be too much or not. Um, especially in a game mode like this, where the approach meter starts uh, at 450 and hidden is set as, as a times two multiplier, um, it makes it really easy to get uh, like hidden kills and lots of points. And maybe that's a good thing though uh, for this kind of thing, but. I um, just thought that was kind of interesting if you hadn't seen it before. Uh, I also realize I'm playing as the uh, Puppeteer. I apologize. I know I already played a match with, with her. Uh, kind of messed up there because I thought I had enough time for the hidden, but I was getting paranoid too, so I just didn't wait long enough for it. Um, so I kind of wanted to show off a different character, but I couldn't decide which one, so I hit randomize, and then the randomize, <laughs> the randomization chose the Puppeteer. So. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. I didn't think I would choose the, the character I've already played as. Um, <laughs> you can see my, my free running skills in AC4 not really improved much since the previous games. Um, otherwise, multiplayer wise, um, it was maybe like a month ago, you might have seen that they released information about uh, the new Wolfpack, the upgrades to Wolfpack that they've been doing. So it's kind of interesting because they're incorporating. Uh, elements of other game modes into Wolfpack, so there's like a chess capture type uh, setup for Wolfpack, and there's also some rounds that are called Infection, and uh, which is kind of interesting, I think that was the original name for the Corruption game mode, but it doesn't work quite like Corruption. Um, and it's like, I guess, on your path to those 25 levels um, in Wolfpack, uh, you can kind of, it adds a little more variety, I guess. So, if you haven't seen those, you should definitely go look it up. Just search on YouTube, I guess, for AC4 Wolfpack. They have some uh, newer... They have a mode for newbies called Discovery, I think, and then I forget what the, the main Wolfpack mode is called. And it's kind of interesting. I don't know how I feel necessarily about... Uh, necess uh, <laughs> uh, sorry, Raynan is playing in this match just like the other ones, and he's playing as Lady Black. and. I very narrowly avoid getting grab killed right there. <laughs> it's actually kind of dumb of me to get that close. Um, I don't, you know, I I like Wolfpack a lot, but I feel like um, it's kind of geared maybe more towards not the hardcore AC multiplayer fan base because 
I feel like most of people like me like will play it with friends a couple times and then um, it's kind of it doesn't have a t at least in AC3 it didn't have a ton of replay value um, unless you really want to get a lot of the, the like costumes the dark costumes and stuff so part of me kind of worries that it's gonna be a little bit of the same where it's not really geared towards people like me it's more towards people who don't like having pursuers and want to do more of a almost co-op type experience um, and it might not have a lot of replay value for someone like me, but I'm still excited to give it a shot and see what happens. That was a very nice kill. <laughs> there. So, um, I got off to a bad start in this round, which is really bad for Wanted, as I think most of you know. At least for me, usually I like to uh, get a good lead and then you can have better control over the match, but I'm, I just do really poorly and then I get kind of stagnant and I don't get a lot of points uh, near the end and that kind of isn't a good place to be in a wanted match. Um, and I get so... <laughs> and I still have tunnel vision issues a lot of times, so Raynan pulls off a very nice uh, 900 point kill. And so now Raynan's like 2,000 points in the lead, and it's not looking very... <laughs> it's not looking very good for me. There was one other thing I wanted to point out, and I can't remember if it's on this next kill or not. Um, uh, it's related to the focus bonus, though. Um, we'll see what happens. I forget actually, it's been it's been so long since I watched this match I kind of forgot what happens. Um. Oh yes, this is it, I believe. Because I try to roof him. Yep. Um. I get really frustrated, but then he gets stunned, I believe. Uh, he comes over here. And so I'm like, oh okay, this is great, I'll get a focus. And you can see the plus 50 there. So, this really sucks because I got screwed out, I got rush killed before I could complete my focus, but if you look back, um, as the circle started to fill up, maybe like a third of the way, uh, there's now kind of a partial focus bonus for a plus 50. And so I don't know how that shows up in the bonuses, it's, you know, I'm kind of assuming it's still just a focus bonus and that there's not two different ones for like variety purposes or stuff. Um, but that's kind of like a nice little, um, a nice, a nice little uh, addition that they've added to it. Um, is the 50 point partial focus. So at this point, I'm at like 2750, Raynan's at like 5000, I think he's like doubled my score, and I'm just like, it, you know, it's almost a minute left, and so it's kind of like, well, you know, normally this is gonna, there's like pretty much no chance, uh, unless you get like a times two poison type stuff or whatever. Now I'm up to 3000, it's not much better. Um, but because of the way that this Purist Wanted um, game type is set up, it's actually not out of the question to make up the difference um, because of how easy it is to get incognito kills and to get hidden bonuses and the fact that they multiply. So if you just get a few like 900 point kills um, like I do right here, here's a 900 point hidden incognito kill and that's normally, <laughs> that kind of behavior is usually way too risky um, for me to try but at this point I'm desperate so I'll engage in more kind of risky tactics in order to potentially get a higher point payout. So you can see I get a 900 point kill there um, I see this uh, duelist over here do another hidden kill, and I'm already up to 5,000 points. Um, and so I'm only 300, and suddenly, um, because of the way that the scoring set up, and because of how easy it is to get hidden incognito kills, it's just, um, it's very much within reach. And I try to get one more right here, but it gets contested, and then I get killed by Raiden. And I think if you do the math, if that kill hadn't been contested, I actually would have barely taken first place, I think. But I'm totally fine because it was like a really obvious approach. I'm kind of lucky I even got as close as I did in the first place, and Raynan definitely earned that first place, so I'm not like upset about it at all. <laughs> but it, it just kind of goes to show like kind of how just tweaking little things in Game Lab can make a big difference. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the match. Uh, stay tuned for more videos, and I'll see you later.